Rush Series family of backpacks. We have 12, 24, and the 72, or another way to think about this is a three day, a day, and a half day backpack. A lot of you guys are probably asking how big of a backpack do I need? And that's what I'm gonna try to answer for you. You're gonna get an accessory pouch up front. You're gonna get a variety of places to store stuff and a variety of zip pockets across all three of these backpacks. Each backpack is gonna offer you an ability to have another storage pouch. It's a small individual pocket that has a mesh pocket uh, and just an open space for accessories. The biggest thing that's going to change across this line of backpacks is size. 72 is gonna offer you the most amount of space per pouch per zippered pocket. It's gonna come down a little bit on the 24, and down a little bit more on the 12. 24 opens up, you're gonna have the mesh pocket so you can see what's in there. The laptop storage area, it's got a good uh, little retention system. And this is your sunglass pouch, accessible just above the yoke padded to protect your lenses and your goggles. And all three also, while we're right here at the carrying handle, give you the ability to route the hydration hose. The front end of the pouch got three pockets. Two of them are mesh. One of them is an enclosed nylon pouch. Let's talk about the back. First and foremost, you have the yoke. It's got awesome padding. It's spread wider to help you push that load across your shoulder. All three of the backpacks have a chest attachment point and are adjustable for a variety of uh, heights and sizes. Underneath the yoke, you have a padding and air channelization system designed to not only keep the backpack in place with some friction panels to help with the ventilation. One additional thing that you're gonna have here on the 24 is an introduction of a side pouch where you can store the Nalgene bottle, Tactical World, you can put an M4 magazine in there. And then when we move from the 24, to the 72. The main design difference you're gonna notice is the shove it pouch, which is on the outside. I like to stuff down jackets in here. When I'm getting ready to go to the gym, I'll throw everything I'm gonna wear at the gym, my, uh, my tennis shoes up on top, and you're ready to go. One difference I am gonna highlight as you go up in size to the 72, because the load is probably getting a little bit heavier, being able to put some of that weight onto your hips in addition to the shoulder, which is gonna help you carry a heavier load for longer, that's why this bag comes with the, the lateral straps. If you choose not to use that, as some people do, it's fine. Again, the biggest thing you're gonna get, guys, the accessory compartments are gonna be a little bit larger. The storage options are gonna be the same, largely across all three of the backpacks. What you really get is size. And this is the Rush series from the 12, the 24, and the 72. This is the SOG Top 20 Liter Urban Day Pack. It's a great pack for running around town, maybe even carry on for luggage. On the front here, you have a laser cut Hypalon Molly Field. Great for attaching accessories, maybe a small pouch or even a pocket knife or something to the back of that. Next to the Hypalon, we have some lashing points. If you need to attach anything else, maybe tie down a jacket on the back. The main body of the pack is a 500 denier nylon with a polyurethane coating. Great for adding some abrasion resistance and some water resistance as well. Turn the pack on the side, you have a nice grab handle, great for holding it, carrying it, walking around. Next to the grab handle we have laptop access. You have two dual zippers on it so you can either have top pull or bottom pull access to your laptop or whatever you store in there. Flip the pack over, on the opposite side there is access as well. So you can do off-handed left or right hand access to the laptop sleeve. Laptop sleeve also doubles as a hydration sleeve if you don't carry your laptop in there. There's an access port on the back, pull the hydration tube out clips onto the shoulder strap of the, of the pack. Shoulder straps are padded with lashing points as well on there. It has a nice sturdy sternum strap with a whistle built into that. On the laptop compartment, what we have done in the bottom half of it, there is a Velcro loop field, perfect for storing a soft-sided pistol holster for a concealed carry. The back of the pack is a laminate sheet to help give it some rigidity and some support for assistance in carrying heavy loads make it a little more comfortable over a, a long period of time. Uh, on the front behind the Molly field here, we have two vertically oriented storage pockets. These are separated. There is a divider in the middle there. And these are great for storing things like headphones, power cables, things like that that you need to have access to, but you don't really want to bundling up down the bottom. When we get to the top here, we have our impact resistant molded shell here. We've got nice zipper pulls on it. The zipper pulls are big loops, great for work with gloved hands as well. And on the inside of this top pouch, there is storage pouches for pens, pencils, flashlight, maybe a multi-tool. And on the inside of the top flap, there is a Velcro access padded storage, which is good for storing sunglasses, 
uh, cameras, maybe a cell phone, things you need access to that you don't really want to get damaged and banged up while you're carrying the pack. Accessing the top portion of the pack, the main compartment, inside the top main flap there is a secure slimline pocket in there which has a lanyard for keys and as well as a great place to put a wallet, money, credit cards, maybe a passport, things that you want to keep secure but you want to have access to without them getting lost. On the inside of the flap there is a mesh pocket here that you can store some more small items in that you don't want to get shoved down to the bottom of the pack. On the back panel of the pack there is a sleeve great for storing a notepad or small items like that and then there is your office supplies, pens, pencils, markers, a flashlight in there, maybe even a pocket knife can stick in there. On the top of the pack there is a nice grab handle. This is the SOG Talk 20 liter urban day pack. This is the Mystery Ranch Scree, one of the most versatile packs that we make. At 32 liters, this is an ideal bag for hiking, travel, or climbing. This pack is built with a 210 denier fabric to cut weight, urethane coated YKK zippers all around, Duraflex buckles, densified urethane foam in the shoulder pads, and ventilated aerospace mesh along the body panel to reduce moisture. Feature sets of the Scree include dual water bottle pockets on each side, front and side compression straps, tool loops that are adjustable for trekking poles or ice tools, two detail pockets on the lid with urethane coated zippers to protect smaller items, as well as hydration port on the top of the body panel for a bladder. The pocketed waist belts of the Scree are also removable. Simply release the G-hooks on both sides. Break the Velcro behind the lumbar and slide the pad all the way through. To reinsert the waist belt, simply thread one pad underneath the lumbar, seat the Velcro, and reattach the G-hook. The three zip design gives you easy access into the main compartment of the bag. This gives access to the bladder on the body panel or two vertical storage pockets on each side. This is the Scree 32 offered in both men's and women's. And for size reference, I'm six feet with boots on. This is the SOG Scout 24 liter outdoor pack. It's meant for a overnight, maybe a two day pack, good for uh, outdoors or even urban uh, needs. It's got a Hypalon laser cut molly field on the front here, as well as several lashing points to secure items uh, such as medical kits or carabiners or rope or anything like that you might need. Also has a long item carry on the front here, so you have these little loops to get a handle in, pull, hang it down, fold it up, secure with the little bungee cord at the top here. Main part of the pack is constructed of a 500 denier uh, nylon with a polyurethane coating, provides a little bit of water resistance and very good long-term durability. The side of the pack has compression straps here, so you can secure the load down so when you're fast moving, it stays close and snug to your body, it's not moving around. Also what that does is with the quick access, you can undo this one, unzip the zipper and get into this pack without having to open the whole pack. So if you have something stored on the side or in the middle of the pack that you need to get to, you can quickly, easily reach right in. This is part of our quad zip program here. Uh, at the top here you have a impact resistant molded top for two zipper access here. Open it up, you have some pin flashlight storage at the top, as well as inside the lid there is a Velcro access pouch, perfect for storing sunglasses, cell phone, maybe a small camera in there. Things more fragile that you don't necessarily want to get damaged or scratched up. Zipper pulls also works well with a gloved hand. The main access to the pack is through two zippers at the top. It works as a top loading pack. Inside of the pack here you have secure storage, a key ring, lanyard, perfect place for wallet, uh, cash, things like that that you want to keep secure and don't want to get lost. With the quad zip, undo the top two compression straps here, and pull it open, quick access to everything within the pack. On the inside of the pack you have mesh pockets perfect for USB cables, food, anything else of that sort. On the inside of the pack we have a Velcro Molly field in here, so for more pouches you can secure them in any way you want. Has a laptop sleeve on the inside, hydration pouch, holder here, 
well as an access port to take the hose out to your shoulder strap. Nice padded shoulder straps with lashing points on there, a sternum strap with whistle, padded waist belt. The back of the pack is a laminate sheet with uh, aluminum stay, so it provides an internal support structure in there for if you're carrying a heavy load, it distributes the weight onto the hip belts, make it more comfortable for a longer duration to carry. And it has a big grab handle on the front so you can pick it up and carry it. Again, this is the SOG Scout 24 liter outdoor pack. Hi, I'm Tim from the Heresy Group here. I've got the Helicontex Raider backpack. So just from the off, it's in full Kodora material, which is always nice, very hard wearing material at the same time, nice and light. And it's got YKK zippers all the way around, all over the bag. They've got these nice little pull cords on, nice, strong, decent, reliable zips all over. Tons of features on this bag, one of the main ones being the helmet carry functionality on the front. As you can see, this large area here, designed to carry a full ballistic helmet. Can put anything else in here, water bottles, waterproof jackets, anything you just need quick access to. Nice and easy uh, access from either side, just be able to stuff stuff in there if you need to. So what I'll do is I'll work my way down the front, we work our way through all the pockets and then to the rear. So just on the front, again, Predominantly, obviously, you've got this large helmet carrier area at the front. Undo the top swift clips, it does open this right up just to reveal that pocket and you obviously have some tie down areas in here. Pal slash molly webbing either side if you do want to add accessories at the same time. IR silooms, carabiners, anything else you want to tuck in there, nice and easy to access. Left and right side at the bottom, we've got some nice big bungee pockets. For me, always perfect to sling a water bottle in so it's nice and accessible for you to be able to get to either side. But if you want to put anything else in there, there is some massive big bungee pockets either side. On the front then, right here, we've got a nice little admin pocket. Not massively huge. Nice thing about it though, it is lined with this really sweet phone in there. Night vision, anything that's delicate, no problems. It's not gonna get damaged by being in there. You haven't got an abrasive surface in there. It is nice and soft. Across the top here, we've got a large Velcro area for morale patches, anything else like that, identification. Hey guys, it's Harleywood. This is the Ghost from Direct Action. This is by far the best backpack I have ever reviewed. I've been using this, you probably saw it kind of uh, sneak peeked in a previous video um, of the accompanying uh, messenger bag. I still use that messenger laptop bag every single day and the quality is fantastic, it holds up great. I've been using this ever since. This is what my get home bag contents are now in. If you haven't seen what those contents are, uh, go check out the channel and I'll post some links below. And we're not, all that stuff is in here. I'm gonna go through this bag and not really get into the contents too much because I've already covered that in a previous video. But I wanna show you how amazing this bag is and talk about how rugged it is. Um, from getting rained on all night, I left it in here and I forgot to put the tunnel cover on. And I mean, it just poured all night for like eight or nine hours. And I was in my cabin, I'm down here at Deer Camp right now, but I was in my cabin and I knew I had left the tunnel cover off. And I said, well, I guess I'm gonna have to dry everything out tomorrow. And nothing inside got wet, except for in this little pocket right here on the front where it doesn't have a cover. But the only thing I really had in there was some batteries. So didn't even, you know, nothing even really got hurt. But the main compartment has all of these, uh, these lips that cover the zippers, so no water got into anything. I mean, the quality of this bag and the thought that they put into it is just top notch. Let me get you some close-ups and then we'll get into the bag. Hey guys, welcome back to Condor TV. My name is Mike and today we're going to be going over the 125 3 day assault pack. This pack was designed for a single person to live out of basically for three days, but from personal experience you can actually get seven to eight days out of it if you pack it correctly. This pack is available in black, tan, red, OD, OD Digital, ATAX AU, ATAX FG, Multicam, and ACU. It has a cubic unit space of 3038 inches and that's all dispersed over seven different pockets. Starting with the top there is a carry handle as well as the shoulder straps are padded with the webbing vertically down one horizontal on the top with the D-rings also a strap to go across your chest better secure it with a removable waistband with buckle. Now the padding on the back of this pack 
is to provide extra comfort as well as hold your two three liter hydration packs that also have holes that go up and out the sides of the main compartment so you can run the hoses over the shoulder straps. Now the main compartment opens up and has two mesh pockets on the front side of it as well as straps to strap in maybe a lap laptop or any other kind of gear you have. The other front pouch opens up and has two radio pouches as well as pen and three different slots for maps and documents. This lower horizontal pouch unzips with two mesh pockets as well. This one divided into three sections, this one with a zipper. It also has two side pockets that open up for general storage space. The front of the pack also has a small slender slim pocket right here for documents or anything else you need to throw in there. And this panel is also loaded with webbing and hook and loop for a name tape or blood type or anything like that or any other modular pouches you want to add as well as the webbing along the side pockets. The pack has two compression straps on each side of it that help you compact your pack down and reduce your profile in combat environment. On the bottom of the 3 day assault pack, there's grommets on each pouch that allow drainage in case you get full of water or wet. And there's also the webbing along the bottom if you want to attach a butt pouch or any other kind of modular pouch along the bottom of the pack. Now you can get the 125 on our website, condoroutdoor.com. Please be sure to follow us on Twitter, Facebook, and Google Plus for any upcoming Condor.